In this video, how to make an assembly drawing from an assembly file. Um, here, I, here is my assembly file. You can see that all of the mates are in place. Um, what I'm going to look for is that you have all of the mates here. There's only one here that's not fully defined. That's this one here. That's just a matter of clicking this button, lock rotation. Um, I'm not going to worry if you don't have that in place, so don't be concerned. But I am going to look for... Uh, however many are here. I think there should be at least 10 mates and I'm going to look for those 10 mates. Okay, so it's properly mated and I've also created an, an exploded view. So I'll show you what the exploded view looks like. And in that exploded view, I have um, an exploded line sketch, which I've added to it to connect these items. I will show you in another video how to do that. So um, I'm going to collapse this and then ask SOLIDWORKS to make a drawing from my assembly. In this case, I've asked you to use an A2 size drawing. So there we go, there's an A2, let's just wait for it to load. Once it's loaded, you'll get your views, your view palette on the right hand side. I want this isometric exploded, or I, in fact, I'm gonna drag the current one in, which is not exploded, just to show you if it's not exploded, what to do. Um, you go to the left hand side here and you click on um, show it in exploded view. You see it explodes it. Um, and then that's as much as you need to do. What we are going to do, what I'm going to do, is change the scale of the view, which is or of the sheet, which is 2 to 1. So you will see that it's updated here. Scale is 2 to 1. That's the scale that I should be working in. Then I want to move this out the way because I'm not going to use this revision block. For now, I'm not going to worry about it. All I want to show you is how to balloon this um, and how to create a, a revision table. So under annotation, you'll see tables. Click on bill of materials and that just that's going to ask you if you haven't selected it already to select a view. Don't worry too much about this. I think the only one which might affect things for you is top level only or parts only. Um, leave the settings as they are. This is fine. Once you click on the OK button, you'll get this table, which will be populated. Now, this table isn't really suitable as it stands. This should be title and the description should contain a description of the, of the materials. But I'm not going to worry about um, that at the moment. I do see a problem straight away in that because I selected top level parts only, I'm missing a subassembly. In other words, when I created my... Um, Assembly. These two are part of a, a sub-assembly, so I'm, can, I'm going to click in this item again and just make sure it says parts only, and you'll see immediately it updates to show all of the parts. So there are my two sub-assembly parts, spindle bearing side and spindle cap side. Um, now, to balloon, there you can either balloon individually using the balloon tool, in which case you would select these and then pull them out, uh, I'm not going to do that, but you'll see as soon as you do it that the balloon corresponds with the number in your bill of materials. So there's a quicker way. If you use the auto balloon tool and you select this view, so you can choose whether you want the balloons at the top, at the bottom, to the left hand side, to the right hand side, or in a circular pattern. I want them on the right hand side. Uh, these two buttons just underneath are where you ignore multiple instances. If I unselect it, you'll see it'll actually balloon all of the bearings, but we don't want that. We only want one. We can see there are four bearings. Um, so minimal amount of information to convey the maximum amount of useful information. And then insert magnetic lines. If I unselect it, that line will disappear. I'm going to say, okay, now these are not in the right place. So if I click on one of them, you'll see I can select the line and I can move it around. I can even twist it if I want to. So let's say I wanted to make this at 80 degrees. It'll do that sort of thing for me. Right, but I want it at 90. Um, and then you can also move these off of the line or you can move them along the line so the line stays magnetic for as long as you want, and you can move this up and down. You can actually shorten it as well. Um, I'm gonna leave it as it is, 
And then I'm just going to move this off to one side a little bit so that it looks a bit neater. And then the last bit you need to do, other than, of course, fill in um, all of the details in your title block, which is namely your name, the project, the title. You're not going to fill in any of the material processes or color because those should be filled in here. Um, and this is an assembly, not a, not a manufacturing drawing. In other words, this is just to show people how to put the thing together, how many parts there are, and what the size will be. So the other part I asked you to do was to insert um, a front view. I think it's just a front view. I can't remember, but I'll show you both. So let's go back to the view palette. If it's not showing, just refresh it. Okay, and I'm going to select this top view. That's erroneously... That's fine. This is the view I want. It's the sort of the front view. Um, that's at the wrong scale for what I asked you to do. So let's change the scale to one to one. Right, one is to one. Wait for it to do it. So that's great. So this is just to show people who are going to use this drawing what the size is for things like packaging or maybe they need space on the table. And you, there are all sorts of good reasons why you need to know the overall size. But it really, I must cannot stress this enough, it's only the overall size. I'm going to hold the control button down and click on one side and then go to the other side and click. All right, if it's done what it's done here, don't, don't sweat. Um, it may be the shift button. I'm going to test that in a moment. You can just drag this out to the extremities. Okay, because that's what we want. We want just an overall dimension. Let's do that again. So this time I'm going to try the shift button. I think it's the shift button. Uh, let's go to that one there, down to this one here. There we go. It's the shift button which gives you the extremities. Okay, so those are the two overall dimensions. Um, as I've stressed before, and I'm going to stress it again, please don't give me three more than three dimensions in an assembly view. If you do, I'm going to penalize you negatively. So be careful of that. But I'll just show you how to put the third one in. I can't remember if I asked you to do two or three views, but I mean one or two views. But if it is two, I simply want the two views. You don't need to put this last dimension in, although I won't penalize you if you do. It's fine. So that's it. Just three dimensions. I'm going to stress it again and again and again. It's an assembly drawing. It's not here to manufacture from. It's here to show you how to assemble. Um, so please, just three dimensions maximum at any time in an assembly drawing.